Hey, hey, hey. Um, okay, so this guy, oh, other way, this guy, uh, Ryan Florence um, <clears throat> released something kind of cool today called Reach Router. It's a, an accessible um, accessible router. Like that's, that's the focus of his new Reach organization thing that he's doing. Um, <clears throat> and this introduction is probably better than the one that you're watching right now. So if you're really just looking to get uh, an introduction, probably watch that. But uh, that said, I just wanted to play around with it. And so that's why it's today's uh, Dev Tips with Kent. So um, yeah, I'm actually just using this thing from his tutorial, um, starting right there. And I'm just gonna play around with it and see what I can make, what I can break and stuff. So um, yeah, the uh, this code sandbox, which I'll put a link in the description maybe after, um, has reach router already installed so if we look at the dependencies um reach router is right there and uh yeah let's go ahead and we'll import a router and a link from reach router and then um, inside of our app here we're rendering this tutorial h1 and this is where we're gonna have like our navigation and stuff um this is like our main app so i'm gonna add uh, nav here and we'll have a link to um, home right so let's just do slash and um, it'll be home and oops link um, then we'll add a space thank you JSX and we'll do a link to uh, the dashboard okay Cool. Um, so now you click on those things and they're not gonna like, I mean the URL will update, but nothing actually changes. We need to set up our route configuration. So where do we want those to render? We could have a render up here, or we could have a render down here. I think that makes the most sense. So we'll use that router component. And um, we don't really need to pass anything to it. And this is what's uh, kind of neat about uh, the reach router is that it doesn't, there, there's a lot less you have to do. Um, so here, rather than um, having like specific routes that I need to render, I basically just render the components that I want to have rendered. So here, I, I'm just going to play with this. Hi. And um, yeah, see now it's going to give me a useful error message. Children of router must have a path or default prop or be a redirect. Uh, interesting. So we're learning stuff here. So um, let's go ahead and I'll add, what does default do? I wonder default. Default, no, okay, so we'll add the path and I'll just do, whoops, path is this slash here. Cannot read path of undefined. No, so um, learning number one, do not render DOM elements. You must render a component. Cool, so let's render a component. We'll do home instead. Cool, and now we're rendering welcome and I go to dashboard. And uh, that looks like it's just gonna render home anyway because it's the only thing it could render, I guess. Um, huh, interesting. So let's go ahead and we'll render dashboard with a path of dashboard. And uh, yeah, now we can, now we're talking. Nice. Um, I'm not sure exactly why it's, not updating like the styles aren't updating this is like a link that i've visited before um but anyway that's like uh just from that it's like this is pretty wildly different from any other uh router that i've used before because you just you're rendering your regular components i, I can pass um a message is hi and then here we'll accept message and render that instead and so that's kind of neat. I wonder, I, I bet it takes a path as well. Hi, slash. Cool, right? Um, and so there was something else that Ryan showed me that I wanted to demo really quick um, about Reach Router that I thought was pretty cool. Um, so you can have um, nested routes as well. And in his little trial thing, he has this um, invoices, um, invoices component that he uses, invoices, and the path, voices, 
And um, w then within this invoices component, uh, this is just how you do nested routes, like inside of invoices, I'm gonna render something and then I'm also going to render some additional things. We're just gonna use it, the children prop. I'm gonna say invoices index. So this will be an index of all of our invoices. Um, and so we'll say path is slash. And that is going to be relative to uh, the parent. So it's gonna be at invoices slash, um, which is one cool thing about reach router also is that uh, relativism is the default. I guess is how you want to say that. So if I put a link inside of here, um, here we'll we'll play with that later. But if I put a link inside of here, it, uh, those links will be relative to where this is. I believe um, this is why I'm playing with it and seeing what I can break here. So anyway, we're gonna do um, invoice path uh, invoice ID, and now let's go ahead and I'm gonna um, yeah I don't want to. Take too much more time so i'm going to copy and paste some of the stuff that he's got here um because it's like from here it's just like regular old components uh, but let's let's take a look at what uh what these things are uh we're also going to want to have a um link well here that there link to invoice i think that was invoices is that really? um and so now I can go to invoices and that kind of stuff. So that's that's cool. So let's take a look at how this is all working. If we look at the implementations here, this invoice takes a prop and it's taking an invoice ID. So if we look at where that's being used, we have this invoice path and then that's the dynamic part of the path. So it's going to be invoices slash anything and that will match this route, uh, render the invoice. And then whatever we call this is a prop that our invoice is going to be rendered to. What's cool about this is I could actually add invoice ID prop stuff. And um, yeah, it looks like it overrides it from here, which is interesting. Um, but I could render this anywhere else. I wonder what happens if I do this. Yeah, it blows up. It's like, no, don't do that. Um, but like the, the fact is that I can... Um, I can render this invoice component totally outside of a router, just provide the props that I want it, uh, I want to provide and, or, or like, yeah, any of the props that it needs. And it doesn't need a router to get those props, which I think is kind of a handy dandy feature um, of this new router. Lots of um, questions about testing and stuff can be kind of resolved since it just receives it pr from props. It doesn't need to be wired up into a router or anything like that, which is pretty cool. Um, the yeah and so then the invoices thing uh we're rendering that as as the root path and we render within that uh, a couple of links and here it's rendering a full slash invoices but i'm pretty sure that if we just look make this look like a relative link that we would have in a regular href or something like an anchor tag href pretty sure that yeah that's going to be relative which i think is really awesome because it means we um uh, like when we do this we're encoding the um the full path to this part of the application in this invoices giving this invoices kind of a um i don't know it, the abstraction itself is kind of leaking into the invoices whereas if we just make it a relative path like this now we can mount invoices anywhere this can be invoices rock and um, make sure we route to rock here. And then we go to invoices rock and everything works just like it was before, which I think is is pretty, pretty awesome, actually really nice. And we don't have to do any fancy stuff to make that work. That's probably my favorite feature. So anyway, uh, that's that's a couple things. There's there's a ton of stuff. Um, it looks like I'm getting some questions. So I haven't done this before, but I'll check, take a look at these questions. Um, biggest thing for this over React router is accessibility, right? Um, yeah, so we're, I, I'm not really demoing this, but if you look in, at the intro uh, that Ryan has, he shows the accessibility feature. But the biggest thing is when I click on this, um, the focus goes to whatever thing was rendered. 
Um, and that's like a, a big thing uh, for accessibility. So you don't even have to think about that. So that's one of the biggest things. The other thing is it's really, really small and it's a lot simpler. Uh, so those are a couple of things. Um, got a couple more things. So Tanner's saying, came in late. Do you use a higher order component, a render prop component to make something a route and accept a path prop? Nope. That's kind of the cool thing. So what he's doing, I'm guessing, is um, when you render a router, um, you it's going through all of the children and, and the children's children to find um, components that are um, using a path. And yeah, that's how that works. It's kind of neat. I think it's kind of interesting. A really interesting idea. Now, if we wanted, like, say, inside of invoices, like invoice here, um, we wanted to render another, uh, like, uh, more routes inside of here, then you can actually render another router. And um, then we could say, um, I don't know, we'll do um, invoy, invoice details, path uh, details. And this will be relative, right? Maybe, hopefully. So then we can do invoice details. Div um, deets. Um, and uh, let's add a link here. Link to details deets. Give me the deets. Rats that take me. yeah it did take me to details but it's not mm. so I must be missing something here it does it does look like it's routing to that right spot but it's not mounting relative so there's something here I need to figure out but I'm pretty sure like that there are demos for this and that that works so anyway I think this router is pretty cool um take a look at it and uh yeah uh so somebody's asking how does it work with server-side rendering um i'm pretty sure it works i don't know i haven't tried it um i i'm pretty sure that ryan uses gatsby and so server-side rendering kind of matters so i'm pretty sure it just works nicely um and why do i think we need this over react router i don't know um i think multiple choices is a good thing and innovation and exploration so i'm going to try this out and see how i like it i i like how much simpler it is um i like how much smaller it is so i think it's worth uh, a look ryan's written many many routers um, and so i think he kind of knows what he's talking about so it's something to look into it uh do, 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 do. more questions what if something is deeper uh, component uses a prop not re uh, related to routing yeah sure so um let's say dashboard accepts a prop oh actually no we're doing it right here home accepts the path but it also accepts a message so um yeah you just pass it as a prop it's kind of simple um yeah josh manders says this is the first time hearing about this router that's because it was literally released like three hours ago um yeah cool anyway so yeah check out this router i think it's pretty neat um i think ryan's planning on doing a bunch more things like this because reach.tech accessible react he has more to come so cool stuff coming um from ryan thank you ryan for being awesome and thank you all for checking this out have a nice day bye Just kidding, faked you out. Ryan just came in in the chat um, and said that I need a something for that embed OS, oh, a star. Oh yeah, I think I know what he's talking about. So I need a slash star. There we go. Let's make that work. Beats. yeah. Thanks, Ryan. I knew it, I knew it. Um, so yeah, I think this is pretty cool. Thanks for jumping in, Ryan. Peace. I feel like MKBHD. Peace.